Hey guys, my name is Jared. Um, it's been a while since I posted any of my videos, and I kind of wanted to do a Q&A video. Um, also, I want to let you guys know that I'm still alive. Uh, first off, a lot of cool things have been going on for me. Uh, some things keep me busy and away from these videos. Um, I'm about to have my first kid. Um, it's, it's a baby boy. He should be born any day now. So, if you don't hear from me for a while, that's because I'm doing baby things. But, also, um, I finally got my first paycheck from YouTube. Uh, thanks to you guys watching my videos. Uh, Google has placed some advertisements on the videos, which you've probably noticed, and they've probably annoyed you. But they actually helped me so that I have some money to fund this project. And I've promised that every bit of money that comes in from these videos, I'm putting right back into them, into parts, to get things going. So I got a new shipment of parts, um, should help out with my next video. Also, I've, I've gotten positive and negative feedback from a lot of people, which is, you know, that's understandable with any YouTube video. Uh, first one is my first video. I was afraid of it getting boring, so I put some background music in it, which was a stupid decision. It, you couldn't hear me at all. Um, but right now, I had deleted all the files to make room on my computer, so I don't have a way of editing out the music. Um, so let me know what you guys think I should do. If I should, I can go through, add captions to it, so that you can read what I'm saying, or I can, I can delete all the audio and dub my voice over it, so it'll be really cheaply done. Um, let me know what you guys think. Um, I've had plenty of other people tell me how stupid I am for doing a lot of these things. Uh, excuse my language, but half-assed. Um, I've had plenty of people who consider themselves jet engine experts. Oh, they tell me that I'm doing things unsafe. And you know what? That's okay. You guys are all entitled to your opinions. My welding sucks. I'm poor. I tried using gasoline. Yeah, yeah, people had real fun with that. They're like, oh, gasoline, don't you know anything about flashpoints and this and that, and I'm not gonna use gasoline anymore. I bought some equipment so I don't have to, so let's leave it at that. Um, I've had people talk about using scatter shields for uh, in case there's a turbine failure, something goes on shrapnel going everywhere. Um, you gotta understand that every turbine has a turbine plane of rotation. That means that if something explodes, it's going straight out. It's not gonna curve for the most part. It's just gonna go straight out in a plane. Um, so you have to stay away from that plane when you're running this engine. Uh, I haven't even ran my turbo yet. I haven't done anything to turn it on. Oh, I've also had people ask me about my job. They want to know what the requirements are. What does it take to get into my career field? Now, as much as I want to tell you guys that you have to go through extensive training, pass lots of tests, be super smart, you don't. My job is actually one of the lowest jobs as far as intelligence goes. Uh, people call us wrench dragging gorillas. I'm a crew chief. Um, which is also known as an aerospace maintenance journeyman. I'm working on transferring over to to be a jet engine specialist. So for right now, the uh, being a crew chief works for me. It's it's a lot of fun. I don't ever want to be behind a desk. So you don't need any extensive training. Just you'd have to take your ASVAB, get above a 50 on it, and you know, know your planes. Um, I, I got stuck on one of the dumbest jets ever that doesn't do anything because I didn't know my planes. It was kind of funny. I was filling out my job requests and said, all right, I get to pick my plane. B, that's for bomber. I know that. Bombers are cool. And then 52. That's the highest number. That's got to be the newest bomber. No. No, it's not. So, but B-52s are cool, they just don't do anything.
other than provide nuclear deterrence. I've had plenty of people ask me, you know, for help with their particular projects, and that's totally fine. I love helping you guys, but I have to apologize because sometimes it takes me a long time to get back to you. Um, I'm very scatterbrained, so I forget a lot of things. So if you'll be patient and wait, if I forget about you, then please send me another message, and I'll, I'll get back to you as quick as I can. So keep up with the question, guys. Keep up with the views. Thank you. You guys have been great.